Hello, this is Steven. We're gonna see how to create uh, floors and moldings from walls. So as I do select a wall, any wall in the floor uh, will uh, will do will do it. I gonna in the tool tab, and then first thing to do is to to check that that my wall geometry are correct. There is no snap issue or something else. In order to do this, I, I got uh, I can create curve either from from floor or for moldings. Sometimes floor could file completely, and so using molding could could help to to see where the error occur. What I can see here, there is something. Uh, badly wrong as uh, look like this part is correct but I get something wrong in this area so gonna check this wall and look like there is a snapping issue here so I'm gonna snap it right Now, take another one and now, as you can see, every single part of my of my floor plan is uh, lo looks correct. There is no no error I can detect. So I'm ready to create uh, my floors like this selecting a preset and waiting for the objects to update no i can choose another preset for some parts this is the bath bathrooms I also do set up uh, material and I'm done for floors. So I'm ad adding moldings the same way. Either floor or sailing. You have two options. So moldings are done. I want to hide walls and floors so I can select easily parts I want to remove. I don't want those moldings into my bathrooms. Floor and, and uh, moldings uh, take advantage of uh, the auto-synchro future. That is when I'm when I'm moving my window, moldings and floor will update according. So it is always perfect. There's a, a bit of time to to synchronize and regenerate uh, objects, but. This way you always get a perfect result. If I disable the, the auto-synchro future, simply to show it is still active, but if I disable things will not update the the holes always will follow but surrounding it items won't so that's it for the floor 